Hi there, my name is Jake Barton. And I'm Erica Schrader. We're here all the way from Blue Valley West High School. To report here, the Kansas State Fair, here in Hutchinson, Kansas. First, a classic. Let's take a look at one of the longest standing businesses here at the fair. Here at the Kansas State Fair, there are many different shops and attractions, each with their own story. Today, we took a closer look into one that's been here since the 1930s, the Dairy Bar. So everybody likes ice cream. And it's certainly a great place to celebrate when you're walking around the fair and to have some a sweet treat to eat. This will be about my 30th year um, in one capacity or another working with the dairy industry. Um, our stand represents the dairy farmers across the state of Kansas and the rich history that goes along with being a farmer in the area. The Dairy Bar is one of the fan favorite shops because of its appeal to all ages. I really enjoy it. It's family fun. I get to see lots of my friends that I don't see. Um, every day and I get to interact with my dairy farmers that are over here for showing every year. So our shop is pretty unique. Like I said before, um, we represent all the dairy farmers in the state. The unique thing about this shop is it was designed by a local dairyman who actually has an engineering degree. It's just kind of cool to know that it, not only do we represent the dairy farmers in the state, but it was created by a dairy farmer. So I think ice cream is family friendly, family fun. Um, it's a way to enjoy dessert together. Um, ice cream goes back a long, long way, and it's something that people enjoy when they're kids or adults. Don't forget to stop by and enjoy some classic sweet treats. All that talk about ice cream is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too, but uh, no, get inside of the silly strawberry ride. You're being dramatic. Oh, no, 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 just drop everything and wait 30 minutes in the line for the strawberry ride so we can film a cute little anchor segment. No, no, fine, fine, I just say what you wanted to say. All right, let's check out what a certain booth at the Pride of Kansas has to offer. Yeah. The Pride of Kansas building features booths and attractions from every corner of Kansas's infrastructure, from sweet and savory treats, or even a life-size mechanical cow. But at the head of it all sits a couple passionate about what they do. Manage a ranch uh, down in southwest Barber County. It's 42,000 acres. We have about 2,400 head of buffalo on it today. Uh, I used to raise cattle. Uh, they're more work. Went to bison in 1983. Keith has been raising buffalo for about 40 years. It was pretty simple. We had an empty pasture and I thought, oh, let's try something different. I remember when I because I got into the business by marrying him, so they actually already had about six head of buffalo. And when we first started, it was like, okay, if you're going to do this, we're, gonna, we're actually going to do it. If you want to learn more about buffalo, raising livestock, or would just like to see a friendly face, be sure to stop by Keith and Ava's booth during your visit to the Kansas State Fair. Woo! We are high up here. Uh-huh. Okay, now say your line. I can see the entire park. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much to Keith and Ava for lending your time to us today. Next, let's check out a staple ride here at the fair. The Rockstar is a classic ride here at the fair. It's been a staple and arguably one of the most popular among the crowd. But is the Rockstar truly a crazy train or will it be nothing but a slow ride? It's quite a fun ride, especially how uh, long it lasts. It's pretty fun. It, like even after like riding it for so many times, it doesn't get old. It's a pretty fun experience. Thank you so much for coming along with us. Once again, this is Erica Schrader. And I'm Jake Barton, signing off.